All right, so next we're going to talk about, you know, after the bottom turn, transitioning into either coming off the top or pumping down the line, depending on the wave, how it lines up. So what after you bottom turn, going back up the face, what, what comes next? Yeah, I think a huge thing is like, as you're thinking about your bottom turn, you're already thinking about what you're doing next. So you're thinking about your top turn, you're sort of heading up the way, whether you're going to go for like a, a speed sort of pump or you're going to sort of hit the lip heading up the wave and as you sort of get to the top but like not even to the top like as you just finish your bottom turn your like your body's already twisting as the board's lifting up the wave because like you don't want to get go too high because if you get too high you get caught up in the lip so you just like you want to be turning nice and early and just get like, getting a feel for your board and as you progress you can really really dig the rails in and do really sharp turns but i reckon Straight away after your bottom turn, just start heading up the wave a little bit and then straight away start twisting your shoulders back down to where you want to go. And use your paddle to get more power when you're doing the turn. Use this. So yeah, use the paddle but basically always on the inside of your turn. So when you're bottom turning, you want to have it on the inside. Then when you transition, go from one rail to the other rail. Then you want to get the paddle on the other side, either behind your back or switch the paddle to the other side. And also moving, uh, like Robert said earlier, moving your, your feet from one rail to the next, especially if you're using a wider board, you're gonna have to move your feet kind of on one side of the rail to go like this. And as soon as you're gonna cut back, you're free to move it back to the other rail. It's gonna help a lot in, in, in making those uh, large board uh, pivots um, and using the paddle as leverage. Very similar to your bottom turn. Um, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a bottom turn for your backhand. So you're coming from a bottom turn on your forehand to a bottom turn on your backhand, sort of similarly for like a top turn. So if you're coming for a cut back, you can really lean on that rail and just be able to engage completely so your fins are in the water and you can really tip the board so it's on its side. And then I guess one other tricky thing is kind of just going from one rail and then kind of flattening out and then getting the board on the opposite rail that sometimes if you don't have enough speed or whatever, the rail kind of catches and the board ends up going straight instead of carving. Yeah, having so. speed, having speed is, is a factor also. If you're going too slow, don't try to turn. You know, first learn how to pick up speed, maybe pump it, learn how to pump a little bit, and then you can work on some turns. Yeah. So, but basically the idea is in the beginning, don't just go straight down the wave and head straight towards the beach. What you want to do is kind of angle yourself and kind of follow the wave, whichever way it's going, left or right. Just follow the wave the way it's breaking. That's, that's the basic idea. So thanks for watching, but cutting back, I guess. <laughs>